This episode of the Nerdball Podcast is brought to you by Fort Mex CrossFit. Are you tired of me always talking about Fort Mex CrossFit? Well, come on, check it out. See for yourself what they have to offer. They've got classes seven days a week uh, for all different age groups. Um, even uh, uh, if you don't know what, if you've never done CrossFit, they can help you out here. So check out all their information at fortmegscrossfit.com. Uh, this episode uh, is about me and the vacation our family just went on. Um, it was it was the reason we didn't have new episodes last week, but I hope you checked out um, the two podcasts um, that I did. We did showcase Let's Get Quizzical with host Anthony Martinez. I was on that one, and it was a great episode. Uh, hopefully, you guys all check that out and check out his other episodes. Also, he, he has been doing a live trivia game on Facebook, so if you follow him on Let's Get Quizzical, uh, you'll see when those, uh, when those pop up. Also, the other podcast is the other podcast I do with uh, Jim and Tyler is uh, Three Different Dads. Uh, we put I put that episode out last uh, Thursday, and uh, again, uh, it was on this feed for a while. Now it's on its own feed, so please check that out. Subscribe there, rate and review. Uh, we have a lot of fun doing that, uh, so please check that out. So, uh, without further ado, here's me. I'm Lorenzo Melcher, and this is the Nerdball Podcast. with Lorenzo Melcher. Thanks everyone for downloading this episode of the Nerdball Podcast. Uh, I was out last week uh, with family vacation. We went to Texas and it was a great time. My kids uh, have never been to Texas to see our family down there. So it was cool uh, for them to see all that. I'm going to kind of go day by day of things that happened. First of all, we left on a Saturday and I don't know why we planned this the way we planned it. Um, we... we <laughs> We bought our plane tickets months ago, and apparently we thought it was a good idea to fly out at 9 o'clock at night. Um, I don't know, even know. I was talking to my wife. I don't even know our rationale for why we did that. Uh, we were thinking about it last night on the drive home from the airport, and I said, if I could do anything different, it would have been we would not have left at 9 p.m. Uh, I don't know why we decided to do that. When there was a flight, I think a flight that left at like noon or, or 1, something like that. Um, so there was a lot of better choices. But... Uh, the only thing that makes it a little more difficult is because it got delayed an hour. So we didn't get into Austin until one o'clock and then we didn't get into our, our verbal rental until 2 AM, uh, which was fine. You know, it was fine. The, the kids had a good time. The kids slept, um, most of the car ride anyway. Uh, and, and I already, I, I already hate flying as it's well documented here. We grew up driving everywhere. So I already hate doing that. So being delayed and then sleepy, it was just not, you know, luckily I fell asleep a little bit on the plane, so I was able to, you know, get get some of that flight while I was sleeping. Uh, anyway, woke up Sunday, uh, we had a, uh, uh, I guess it was a memorial party of some sorts uh, for my brother. He, uh, for those that don't know, I'm, I've said it a lot on here, but uh, my brother passed away from an overdose. Uh, it'll be, I believe, two years in September. Um, so there's a memorial bench there. There was supposed to be a tree, uh, but we're still, my, my dad's still trying to get a tree planted for my brother, but there's a memorial bench. Uh, there's pictures online. Uh, I could put pictures in the stories, uh, on their ball podcast, Instagram. So we, uh, you know, there was a, there's a bar there called Lucky's that we go, that my dad always goes to the mayor Roy, uh, owns that bar. Uh, my dad in my dad's hometown of Welder, Texas. Uh, so we went there. Uh, saw a lot of cousins, a lot of uh, aunts and uncles that went there. Uh, it was fun. It was a fun time. I had a bunch of food. Uh, if you don't know anything about Texas, it's a lot of barbecue. So we had brisket, barbecue chicken, ribs, and then my cousin Melissa made uh, rice and beans, which was which were really good. And my mom made uh, homemade tortillas. So those were good also. So it was it was a good time. Uh, a lot of family, a lot of food. My dad took us around town. Saw his old house that he grew up in. A uh, small two-bedroom, one-bath house that my grandpa, his dad, built. Uh, and there was, uh, at at some point, there was a lot of kids there. I don't know when I, my my grandma, my dad's mom, had 12, bro- he had, had 12 kids. Uh, so at some point, there was a lot of kids there. I don't know at the most who was all living there, but there was a lot. Um, so we saw that, went to the, um, 
went to the cemetery to see all the relatives there. So it was a uh, it was a good day. It was it was my dad likes you know showing us around and, and it's fun to see his excitement. And then obviously my like I said my kids hadn't been down there, so it was good for them to see family and good to see you know where my dad grew up in in the hometown there and everything. Um, that that was Sunday. Monday we woke up. It was hot. Uh, it was like over it was over ninety degrees. Um, and uh, we we the place we stayed had the pool, so we stayed we swam there. My sister, uh, my youngest sister stayed with us. It was me, my me, my family, my younger sister, my mom and dad all stayed there. So then my other sister came with her husband and her two kids, and we all swam uh, Monday and just hung out there, had a few sodies, and uh, that was that was our day Monday and Tuesday actually. Tuesday we swam a lot too because it was ninety, and um, and then my cousins and their kids came over. Uh, so my kids got to play with some kids their age and hang out again by the pool, have some food. Um, one of these days, I don't remember what day it was. Uh, maybe it was Monday. We got Whataburger for lunch. Uh, I don't know if any of you know what Whataburger is, but uh, it's a really good burger chain in Texas. And it's one of the, it's, it's always funny. It's one of the things like when we go to Texas, uh, it's one of the things like, hey, this is, we have to do this or we have to do that. And Whataburger is always one of those things. Like we just have to have to get Whataburger, and luckily for us, they had like a huge box of 10 burgers you could get, and then they give you all the sides, all the fixings on the side, so that was pretty cool, it made it a little easy to order, uh, so we had that on Monday, Tuesday, um, I think we grilled, yeah, we grilled hot dogs and hamburgers, my brother-in-law Dan grilled some hot dogs and hamburgers, and we had with all the family there, so that was fun, uh, Wednesday was our day to go to San Antonio, San Antonio is one of my favorite places to visit, uh, it's it's we were there all day. We I think we got there probably around eleven thirty ish. We parked, had lunch at Mitiera. It's a Mexican restaurant that I remember as a kid. As a kid, we'd always go to it. Uh, my dad would take us there because we would drive. It, it sound, seemed like every around every Christmas break we would go down to Texas. So every year we'd go to this restaurant uh, and and eat food and and that's what we did this time. It was just, it was me, Andrea, and the kids. We went. Uh, had food there, bought some bakery items from the bakery. They got a bakery inside. And it's just, this restaurant is like just decked out uh, in bright colors and things hanging from the ceiling. And it's it's really cool. It's a cool place to visit. Um, and then right across the street from there are, are some shops and little markets and stuff. So we spent a good few hours eating and shopping at those markets, finding little things. You know, our kids, uh, you know, like looking you know shopping especially who like who doesn't like shopping when it's not your money so they you know they've bought uh i think my daughter got a little ring she got an anklet she got these little tiny little like uh they're i think they're magnets maybe but they're little like tiny food uh reminded me um of the guest i had on uh a few a few weeks ago she made tiny food from carpets by auto um I wish I wouldn't be blanking on her name right now. Oh, Kelly Brown. Kelly Brown makes those tiny little things. That's what it reminded me of. Um, so she got those for her dolls. Then um, I think my son got everything noisy. So he got uh, a little flute, a little flute, a little frog that it's like a stick that you rub on its back and it makes a, a noise, like a frog noise. Um, pot and some other, I'm sure some other noisy things I can't, I can't think about right now. Um, but they had a lot of fun shopping around. Then uh, we went to the Alamo, which is cool. Again, I hadn't been there since I was a little kid. Uh, actually, well, you know what? Andrea and I, my wife and I went there in 2007, but it's been a long time. So it was cool to, to go there to see the Alamo. And apparently it's all, it's all under construction there. They are reconstructing the wall, the original wall of the Alamo. So they're like taking out a bunch of shops and stuff that were that are around and across the street from the Alamo, which... Talking to my dad and my uncle was kind of a, a big deal. They've been trying to do it for a couple of years now because there's store owners there and they had to basically buy the, the stores from these store owners so they could tear them down and there's one still holding out. So I don't know um, what's eventually, I'm assuming eventually the city's going to win, but I don't know what when that is. But, but they're doing construction right now. Uh, it's going to look pretty cool when it's done. There are some pictures along the, the fence, the construction fencing to kind of show what it, what it looked like um so 
So I'm looking forward to, to going back and seeing all that when it's when it's finished because it, it's a cool thing. Obviously, when you got kids, they they don't <laughs> they don't care that much. They were excited to go in the store and look around, you know, and and uh, but but it's a cool thing for me and you know, to go see and and because it's a cool historical site, you know. So so it's fun. And then across the street from there, naturally, was a Ripley's Believe It or Not museum. <laughs> so we paid a lot of money to do Ripley's Believe It or Not. It was like a four four thing four package deal here we were able to do ripley's believe it or not which is pretty cool you know seeing all basically the book in a museum form uh there was some interactive stuff you could do there's one thing i remember this guy makes mini sculptures and not just like mini like kelly brown mini food but like he takes the head of a needle and puts a sculpture in the eye of the needle and it's it was really amazing it had like a little movie there of him you know, showing how he does stuff and talking about it and everything. And then they had some of his sculptures there. And you could see, like, they had magnifying glasses, so you could see them uh, on the heads of needles or whatever he builds them out of. But they're super tiny, and it was super cool to see that part. Um, so, like I said, we went to Ripley's Believe It or Not, saw a bunch of stuff there. Then we went into a Illusions, uh, I don't know, it was still a Ripley's thing, but it was like an Illusions thing. It was so, like... You could go in and, and again, a lot of interactive stuff um, and go in, see like mirror rooms and, you know, there's this room you can go in where you stand in one corner and you look really big and the person that stands in the other corner looks really tiny. Um, uh, there's all, there was all kinds of illusions there and it was, it was, the kids really liked that part because you know, they could actually like do something and see something there. We went, and then we went to the wax museum, uh, which is like any other wax museum except the my favorite part was there was a horror part of the wax museum and the kids were pretty scared uh none of nobody in our family really likes clowns and we were coming i was leading the way we were coming around the bend after kind of getting scared and i stopped and they're like what's wrong i go well there's a bunch of clowns in this room so we kind of went through that room really fast came to the end uh and the stairs are right there and then this <laughs> train horn just sounds off you know to scare you and everyone just ran out of there but uh, that was fun there, just to see everybody scared a little bit. Um, and then we went into, like, it was like a 4D movie. It was a two five-minute movie where you're just sitting in a chair and you're kind of moving around as uh, as this movie is going around. And you, there's, like, different things that, like, uh, air pressure on your back, you know, depending on, like, there was a dinosaur once. Or anytime, like, a dinosaur got close and breathed on you, this air pressure would shoot at you. And stuff on, stuff coming out of the seat, you know, poking you. So it was... It was pretty cool. All, all in all, those four places were really cool. And again, we spent a lot of time there. Uh, after that, we went to um, River Center Mall to buy some things. And uh, and that ultimately, we ended up you know on the Riverwalk because that was obviously one of the main attractions. The Riverwalks were really awesome. We took a boat around to see everything, kind of help us pick a restaurant that we wanted to eat at. And we sat and ate, ate at a restaurant right on the river, um, you know, right, right next to the Riverwalk. So it was really cool. Uh, it was lit up at night. So we stayed there all day, got back late, um, but but it was a good day, a full day, uh, and and it was a lot of fun. You know, a lot of fun to see there to to see all that stuff again. You know, under remembering like my childhood and going there with my parents all the time. And there's obviously it's different when you're an adult um, because you're the one spending the money as a kid. You're just along for the ride and like, hey, we're doing this, hey, we're doing that. Now getting to pick like what we do. Uh, was was kind of a was kind of cool because you get to be a little tourist and and my dad. You know, grow, my dad grew up down there, so he went to the places that he wanted to go to and that he knew. And and being an adult, you get to experience other things than because your parents aren't making you do things <laughs> to go to certain places. So so it was it's it's a uh, a same vacation but different at the same time from when you're a little kid. Thursday we woke up. Uh, my cousin Samantha works at a a I don't know if you call I guess you call it a video game store. It's like a um, it's called D-Pad in New Braffles, Texas. It's got video games, you know, plushies. They have this uh, these models you can build called Gundam. Um, they have these gun. They had a Gundam night, I think Saturday, Friday or Saturday, where you go build these little things. And it's like a little community. Uh, they got a room in the back where we hung out, uh, but they got a room in the back where you know they play Dungeons and Dragons, and they you know you can play Pokemon back there and you know, all other magic, the gathering. So you can do a lot of things back there and they have a lot of events and stuff. It, it was a really cool place to see and the kids were really excited about it. I want to say it's like GameStop, 
but it's not like a chain. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a mom and pop shop and it, it's a cool place. Um, my, uh, my son bought some Pokemon cards and his cousin bought some Pokemon cards and my cousin bought some Pokemon cards and they're all opening them on the table. It, it was cool. Cause it, it, as you've heard on this podcast, it's, you know, we like Pokemon or me and him like Pokemon. So it was fun to, for him to open them with other people. Uh, so he was excited about that. Uh, my cousin Samantha gave him a card because he didn't really get any really good ones, so he's a little bummed. Yeah, I think he got one, but my cousin Samantha gave him another one. Um, my daughter bought some little figurines and stuff, and it, it was just a cool place. We bought uh, we bought this game called Spot It. If you've never seen it, it's pretty cool. It's just this little card game. It's in a round tin, and the cards are, are round, and you put two cards down, and you try to find matching pictures on each card and then you win those cards and whoever has the most cards wins and then so we've always played that but they had a marvel edition and it came with instructions and there was a lot more ways to play the game so that was cool too to, just to learn more ways to play this game we've played for years so if you haven't uh haven't picked that game up it's a quick game it's an easy game uh, it's called spot it um the one we bought again was was a marvel one uh but yeah we we hung out there went there we're there for I don't know, an hour, hour and a half and hanging out, you know, talking and catching up with family. And it was a cool spot. So if, if you are in Texas and like that kind of stuff, check out D-Pad in New Brothels, Texas. Uh, and then we went home, ate with, my, ate with my parents at the house, and then we went to San Antonio Spurs game in Austin. Um, so it was, I was a little bummed that they, that they had the games in Austin, but it's a, a planned thing that they were doing. So I was a little bummed because I, I like going to San Antonio and seeing them there. Um, but but it was cool to to go to Austin. Go to, it was the Moody Center, which is where the Longhorns play basketball, and so we got to see it's right in the campus. We got to see the football stadium, the outside of the football stadium, and walk around a little bit there. It was a little hectic trying to park, but uh, I can't imagine trying to park for a football game down there because that's like three times as many people. Uh, but but uh, we made it. We made it in, and actually. Uh, it was good that we were late, a little bit late, because I ran into comedian Tom Segura, which was pretty cool. His picture was on my stories. I'll put it back on the, the podcast stories. Uh, but it was cool. I just you know shook his hand, said, uh, asked for a picture, took a picture, and that was it. And um, it, it, but it was it was uh, you know I was frustrated because it was hard to park and, and we couldn't we were going to be late, almost late or whatever. And then and then like see this dude that that I like watching his podcast and listen to his comedy and he was just hanging out you know walking into the game ended up he was courtside obviously um but but it was, it was cool to see you get a picture and then you know what was also cool is seeing my whole family decked out of spurs stuff um so my my wife wasn't a, it's not a huge nba fan you know so it kind of just made sense for her to i don't know if she likes the team she she likes them because i like them which is you know that's cool i, I you know i like that but we were all decked out in spurs gears spurs gear uh, Mateo, my son got a new jersey, a David Robinson jersey, so he was excited about that. And uh, it, it was a good. They won the game. We uh, <laughs> we went down as most people do. We had we had pretty good seats, but we wanted to get closer, so we we went down and 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 snuck down into lower level, probably got the like eighth or ninth row. And you know, uh, my uh, <laughs> my nephew was down there with us, and he's like, uh, I don't know. We crossed these ladies. <laughs> We crossed these ladies coming in, coming into the row, and we sat down. He's like, oh, "I think they're onto us. I, I, we got to get out of here." I'm like, "We're okay. We're fine. We're just sitting down here. We'll just watch the game, you know." And uh, and he, after a while, he got nervous and wanted to go back to his dad, so he went. But even my kids were a little, well, a little nervous about it. But the game kept going on, and you know, we started cheering and everything, and they ended up winning, um, winning the game. So that was cool. Uh, got a picture with the family real close to the court. It was it was a good time. It was the first Spurs game that. I've been, I went to one, but it was first Spurs game for everyone else, uh, for, for, for the kids, I should say, in, in Texas. I can't even say in San Antonio because it wasn't. But in Texas, uh, we've been to one. Andrew and I have been to one here in Cleveland. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it was cool. It was cool to be around all the Spurs fans and see everything. So that was a, that was a cool day, too. Friday, <clears throat> um, our last day there, full day there, uh, went and visited my uncle and uh, my uncle and aunt and hung out at their house. Um, and then that was good. You know, I, obviously being in Ohio, we don't get to see a lot of this family. So it was fun to see all this family and hang out and talk and catch up. And, and that, that was, you know, a main focus of the trip besides, you know, just getting out to Texas and, and having the kids there for the first time and, you know, eating food. We ate a lot of food, so much food. Um, but, but it was, it was a good time, good time down there. Uh, I'm glad we were able to do it and hopefully we can do it, you know, in a couple more years, do it again. 
the the kids really enjoyed it and that was obviously the main thing is hoping wanting them to enjoy it so they did it was fun uh, i enjoyed it a lot uh came back yesterday and and now now i'm here so it was a good time um if if anybody gets a chance austin's really cool san antonio's awesome if you get a chance to go to texas stay in san antonio uh for you can probably get a couple nights out of it easy uh, we were there for one day so it, it's it's a really good time so uh, I recommend doing that, you know, checking it out. So I, again, as always, I appreciate you guys downloading this podcast. Uh, we've been getting like pretty big numbers the past few weeks. We've had a lot of downloads. So keep sharing, keep subscribing, keep liking this podcast. I, I uh, We do our best over here at the Nerdball Studios. And, you know, I couldn't do it without Fort Max CrossFit. They really help out by letting me use their office. It's, again, I always say it's a professional feel, which I want this podcast to be, you know, I want it to be professional. It's not, my basement was good, but uh, it's not, you know, moving Barbies out of the way to uh, set my stuff up and having people come into my house. You know, it, this is nice to, to be like its own separate thing and I can come out here and record. So so thanks to Fort Max CrossFit. Check out FortMaxCrossFit.com for all their info. Um, but keep keep sharing this. Uh, it's easy to hit a share, share button, you know, on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to the youtube channel that's that's been growing too so keep keep it up because i appreciate all you guys and i can't do any of this without your help and and i know that so i I keep putting these episodes out and you know the hopes that you guys keep watching and you do and and keep downloading and and finding new listeners and that's why i try to have a multiple multitude of different people try to reach different audiences maybe grab uh, a permanent listener here or there Uh, but but keep keep helping out the podcast as much as you can uh, if you want to come on the podcast, uh, check out, uh, email me at the nerdball podcast at gmail.com on Instagram, on Facebook, Twitter, we're all over, I'm all over the place. So, so check that out. Uh, and, and always like, and always like subscribe and share it because that's, that's how we get this thing out there. So as always, thanks to cuttlefish graphics, real JP multimedia, big daddy graphics and Perrysburg junior high STEM lab for always helping out the podcast. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.